Good afternoon, I'm David Wiegener. The time is 1pm, the 22nd of September 2017. Here we have an instructive problem for white to beat black, basically. And so we've got a rook over here and, and some pawns for white or black and black. And we've got a knight on d6, queen on e4, rook on g f5, and a rook on g8, queen on g6. Now if I take this queen away, the move here is quite possibly very, very easy to find. Because there's nothing defending that pawn on f7 from knight takes pawn on f7, checkmate. I'll show you if it's white to move. Knight f7 is checkmate, as you can appreciate. So we'll go back, but the queen is there, so that's the problem. So we can't take the pawn with the knight. We can take it, but it just loses the knight, and that's not the answer to the problem. So. Black would like to deliver checkmate with Queen G1, checkmate. So if Black gets the opportunity, Black will take that opportunity quickly. So here I'm going to be quiet for about 20 seconds for you to consider what you would play for white here. So we're also black would also be threatening Queen G three check Okay King H one and Queen H three is checkmate among other checkmates as well. The Queen G one being the ultimate checkmate straight away. But here is also checkmate because white cannot interpose any piece, cannot move the king because of the rook and the king. So here we've got the situation. Now the first move, if you don't want to see the problem explained and shown, then and if you do see it, I think that's very well done. Good on you. It doesn't matter what level of play you are if you see the move straight away this king's on h2 by the way which will make a lot of difference to our actual initial move anyway so i'm giving some hints away so if the queen isn't there it's knight f7 checkmate straight away if the queen doesn't defend the pawn or if the pawn's undefended queen knight f7 takes f7 is checkmate in the skeletal type of position. So now I'm going to show the the corresponding moves. Rook g5 and notice that if the king was uh, on the wrong square, which I had done before, but I put it back to h2 again, which is what the position is, then black would merely have queen takes queen, check, and white. White would have to take back with the knight, and then that's no good, is it? That's not the answer to the problem. So, um, the queen is attacked by the rook, obviously. And shall we just look at queen g5 real quickly? And then we have knight f7 checkmate, the computer would say. So then White can, black cannot play this either for the aforementioned, not knight takes 
queen on e4, but knight takes pawn on f7, checkmate, a knight f7 checkmate. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So now with this queen here, the only suitable reply for black here is this move. Queen takes pawn, not taking the rook because of what I've just said. And not taking the queen because then white can just play knight f7 checkmate. So we have the best reply for black is queen f6. Now if white now goes queen here, okay, that would work if the king was say on a1, um, then that would work because um, if the queen takes the queen, we could take with the rook, we could take this with the rook, but that's not the best. The best would be knight f7 checkmate. So black's just taken this pawn on f6, and the king is on h2. The white queen merely goes to queen d4. And black can now resign. So really there's not much here for black to do. It's very, very embarrassing. And guess what? White now is threatening knight takes pawn f7 check mate so white's actually threatening knight f7 check mate so if the queen takes the queen now because it's pinned to the king on h8 if the queen takes the queen then as i've said before knight f7 is checkmate knight takes f7 and it makes all the difference where the queen goes so the queen goes to d4 and now black is more or less paralyzed to what to do so let's just say that black plays rook g6 defending their queen and their um their queen at the same time and also still con containing uh still looking after the pawn on f7 white merely has Knight f7 check is one line that could spring to mind. Check. And you will see that the queen cannot capture the knight because it's check with the queen on d4. Okay. So the king would have to move up or here. Probably up here is the best. And that would give um, white trouble because um, I might be missing something but that would give white trouble but white after rook g6 would not play knight f7 check but would merely play after rook g6 for black white would merely just play rook g6 and thereby um, threaten the queen again with the rook now so the pawn either can take, if the queen takes the queen, it's everyone can see knight f7 is checkmate. So that's no good. And notice that that rook over here is just a bystander. Just looking, the rook on a8 is just looking on. So now I'm going to finish with the session. After rook g6, it's no good because... Um, if either take here, the queen cannot take because it's pinned to the king, then white just plays queen takes f6, and the rest is history, and that sort of thing. But there are other methods and that sort of thing in there, so it's a very, very interesting position for you to set up and study. So I will set it up, and then that's the end of the session.
So here is the position for you to look at further if you wish.